to this Hogwarts Legacy. I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Okay, whoa. Friend of Dean. Uh, we have seven. We need two more. Okay. So we need to. A friend of deed. Yeah. A friend in me. Another adventure, are we? All the time, bro. All right. Glad you came. So, Nora, I got your letter. Hello, Serena. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? Uh, yes. I did. Thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ranrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend, Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganwell potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you leave your box of letters with the Sprottles? Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. Ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. Why does Miss Sprottle have a Wiganwell supply? Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity. What with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. I could try and stop by. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me. And to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Okay. Yes, we did speak to her about her friend. Who we gave very upsetting news to. We'll come back for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. We gotta get out of, uh... Ah, we gotta get out of, uh... Hogs makes little thingy. Can I unlock that? No, of course not. Of course I can't unlock it. Why would I be able to? 
I mean, we only need two more demi guises so before we can do that. At least get the second level. And then when you get the second level. Tego, Revelio. No, no, okay. <laughs> A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Yep. Alright, let's get to Miss Spraddle. Miss Spraddle. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Sprottle? Miss Spraddle. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh! Dear Serona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wiganweld potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Uh, believe it or not, I have some with me. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aiden died. He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. What was in the box of letters? Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. What was Serona like when she was my age? Serona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Thank you, Miss Blattle. Thank you, Mrs. Sprottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Okay. Come on, jump. Jump. Alright. Okay, we're just like stumbling along like a little new baby that I am. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Come here, Where'd it go? Off into the creepy cavern. Cave to find Serona's box of letters. Perhaps I'll find more. Better have a look around. See about the hawk and the box of letters. Ah, 
That's all the whole comes for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Yeah, especially since I already gave her some. <laughs> all right. Revenia. Go, 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 go. Oh. Gross. I can't imagine how gross and dirty and spidery these places are. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Oh, well, avoiding it is now not a possibility. I died. I died. Oh my god. Your journey has ended. We tried. My bad. I mean, we could sneak past it. Oh, are we at the very beginning? Rebellion. Ah, that's all the whole comes for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be. Either I'll have to fight that troll or avoid it altogether. Yep, we're not doing that.
Ooh. Wow, that got uh interesting. <laughs> Are they just stuck in here? That sucks. Devil Snar. Revenia. Do, 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 do. Dear Serona, I conjured this weak gift for you as a token of my gratitude. If you hadn't stood your ground on my behalf during the Quidditch past this last week, I might have left the team all together. And now we won the Quidditch Cup. Ravenclaw House will not be the same without you. You're sincerely, uh, Sean. Dear Serona, when I arrived here, I had a troubling sense that in many ways I wasn't like the other first years. I confess I worried the Hogwarts might not have been a proper place for me and pounded, sitting in an out of my parents, asking them to fetch me almost before the first week the classes had ended. How did you know? I presume you're not secretly a ligament stud. I wonder that you seem to know my thoughts better than I did myself. That day, the three bones sticked when you spotted me huddled in a corner staring blankly at an untouched butterbeer and an empty pit of parchment my quill dripping ink woefully onto the floor and you came to sit with me well i shall never forget it i recall sudden sense of relief as if someone had cast the levitation charm on me when you told me about how nervous you've been to come to hogwarts i looked at you and it seemed beyond my imagination to think of you as anything but confident content with which sitting before me in the days that followed i marveled at how you charmed it the non-magical sense I mean, everyone around you without apology, embracing who you were and who they were. It was as though the candle had flickered on for me. I realized that I could choose that path as well. Now that my school year started ending, the frightened first year which I had been seems worlds away. And now, I, and I know it's I know it's because of you saw yourself in that despairing creature in the corner of the pub and so generously extended yourself to her. Yours sincerely, Maribel. P.S. Please tell Miss Spottle that I still plan on visiting her and Mr. Spottle whenever I can. For their delightful conversation and, I am unashamed to admit, her incomparable cauldron cakes. My dear Serona, I sent a note separately to dear Mr. and Mrs. Spottle for their hospitality, but felt the need to put quill to parchment with my thanks to you as well. What a lovely replies from the castle. I won't soon forget how we could go about that ridiculous gnome. Did he truly believe that he was singing? And Mrs. Spottle's steak and kidney pie was simply glorious, and I shall be dreaming of it for days. I so appreciate you including me. 
I fear I must warn you, however, that does not mean I will go easy on you next week's match. You know that's way for call is no match at all for Slytherin this year. Most gratefully, yours, Phonomia? Phonomia? Ilmia? I don't know. This must be Serona's box of letters. Dear Serona, happy birthday, my darling friend. I sneaked into the kitchen and asked Finty to make your favorite, Crane Crowley. Crowley. She was delighted to oblige. I'm not sure where she got raspberries at this time of year. Genius, that thing me does. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it back. Dear Mrs. Sprottle, mother and father were delighted to hear that you and I had spent the afternoon at Grand Rags last Saturday. Truth to be told, I think my mother was ever so slightly in this. I shan't soon forget how heartily glad that my efforts to lace the baldness of my new dress. A challenge indeed, as it was rather a delicate process of properly situating a hat pin without wounding either my hat or my head. But I adore everything we selected and I have you thanks for now feeling like a marvelously fashionable witch. It was also a treat to dine at the three broomsticks without having to clear the tables. I shall own a place like that one day, mark my words. I guess I consider myself more than lucky to have you and Mr. Spottle agree to let me stay. I know that my parents feel precisely the same way. You're just gratefully, Serona. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have this back. Yep. Off we go. So she was a rival call like me. Fun. Ravenclaw. <laughs> Serona! Can't thank you enough for helping to save the village. Hello, Serona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend, Mrs. Spottle, with some hawk clumps for her Wiganweld potion. And I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. May I ask about the letters in the box? I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow students. Or you had a Quidditch team. One of the letters mentioned Quidditch practice. Did you play? I did. I was the Ravenclaw Seeker for three years. Oh, Merlin's beard. I adore Quidditch. Nothing like the feeling of catching the golden snitch when your team's down by 140 points. I'll never forgive Professor Black for cancelling it this year. I miss cheering for Ravenclaw. We could have cheered them on together. Is Mirabelle Professor Garlic? I saw a letter from someone named Mirabelle. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind. Especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabelle, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. Are you Miss are Miss Bottle and you as close as you seem? I spotted a letter from you to Mrs. Sprottle. You two seem to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> we do. She taught me so much during my summers with her and Aiden. 
I shall be the first to admit that adolescents aren't always the easiest to understand. And not everyone was as kind to me as the Sprottles. But the depth of their kindness, and that of so many of my friends, got me through... Well, got me through some challenging times, to put it mildly. Happy the help. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Dude, it's the least I could do. You saved me from... still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly... After you sent me from Rockwood. Also, there was like a quest behind. Yeah, there it is. Hello. See, it was a mistake parting ways. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex business partner. Why? A conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our Herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. Ah, uh, how frustrating for you. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant last day? <laughs> sure. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Okay, okay. Seems this must be it. This must be the cellar. Now, to find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Stirring in the cellar. Stop! Come, bandit! Try again, try again. <laughs> Take this. Pavelia.
Where is that venomous tentacular? Hello, Amora. There, so he can get off my back. This matters. the venomous tentacular I should return to Mr. Barnes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get there when we get there. Revelio. Anything else? No. <sighs> Alright, off we go. We'll have to sneak. Also, this is, this is probably not very safe, is it? everywhere. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye bye. You get me now. I'm already gone. I stole your plants. Bro, Ackley, Mr. Barnes. I'm retrieving a certain friend of mine from a. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. 
Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. All right. She at, is she at Hogwarts? Yeah, she is. I think. You're back! Nice to see you again. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Mm -hmm. All right. Off we go back to Hogwarts. Okay. Hello? Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you would be, should be worried. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself. 
But I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Are you and your uncle close? I take it you and your uncle are close. We are. My mother died when I was born, and I lost my father when I was five. Uncle Roland's looked after me for as long as I can remember. He knows I get anxious when he travels, and that's why he sends me all the owls, to let me know that he's all right. Uh, can you tell me more about your uncle's business with the goblins? Has your uncle traded with many goblins? Yes, for ages. Even speaks gobbledygook. But he only recently mentioned... Ranrock's lot. <sighs> Insisting the galleons were worth the risk. He does it for me. Between robes and supplies, attending Hogwarts costs a fair sickle. And besides that, Uncle Roland has expensive taste. He's sacrificed so much for me over the years. I promised him that as soon as I finish Hogwarts, I shall be the one taking care of him. I'll see you when I go bruh. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Okay. Mm, Archie's pretty far away, actually. Bummer. I think we're gonna take a break from quest. And we're actually gonna go back to this little place. To look for more moons. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Uh -huh. Revelio. No. Dear sisters, we sometimes since we already heard from you. How are things in the ministry? We continue to think of you and hope that you're doing well. It will be happy to know that we all made our peace with our, your decision to become a lore and the dangerous as it is. You must live your life follow your path. You're doing so in the service of the wizarding world. I am proud to call you a sister. A mess of is something that you find curious. It seems the troll has taken up residence in the train to the new town. The poor thing was certain to learn a tragic lesson about the fundamental veracity of local motives. Right soon, Eddie Tisslewood. Tissel and the badge, heel and Tissel, reflections of a former Alora. But retirement isn't what I expected. I enjoyed the leisure time, of course, but I do miss the excitement of hunting magical fugitives. I know you're not supposed to admit that you actually enjoy the turmoil associated with the job, but how can you feel anything other than exhilaration when chasing the Ukrainian iron belly through the Muggle city and then oblivioning all the Muggles who saw you, or foiling a dark wizard's plot to take over the ministry with an army of Chinese chopping cabbages using only a single basket of bouncing bulbs? When the ministry finally makes all my old cases public, my neighbors will never look at me the same way again. Old Madame Tissel would down the lane is the one who put the nasty brute so so in Azkaban. For now I can merely insinuate, at least I divulge something confidential. I would hate to force my former colleagues into locking me away in Azkaban. 
not appealing on thought. But I suppose I should check out my garden. The bluebells have been struggling this season. Revenia. I have a lot of time to stay to reflect upon my career. I wonder if it's good we did balance out the mistakes we made along the way. Did we always catch our criminals? No. Did we sometimes put away the wrong person? It's possible. Is that a sensible risk when it comes to preserving the well-being of the whistling world at large? I would like to think so, but then again, I'm not an innocent witch moldering away in Azkaban. If I were, then perhaps I would feel differently. It's a quandary without a solution, or at least not one that I am likely to solve. This is a problem with retirement. At least one to with too much to dwell upon bygone problems but there's nothing one can do about it oh my bluebells died <laughs> that's sad i'm still dwelling upon my big hypothetical from the other day i always made certain that i could defend my decisions before the wizard garment should the need arise i was required to do this on a rare occasion and it was never a pleasant experience no matter how confident i was despite what some believe the ministry is far from Obipotent, and when I hung up my badge, I left behind quite a few unsolved cases. If I had all the time in the world, I doubt I could solve them all. But should the opportunity arise and uh, revisit one and correct any mistakes I made, I will certainly take it. That's the only way to rest easy about my career. I never hesitate to fix mistakes, especially if they are yours to begin with. I fear that in our haste to meet met out just as we may inadvertently became the vehicle for injustice. I fear this especially for myself. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. Oh, uh, I'm through with gardening. I need a new hobby. <laughs> uh, yeah, babes, that's what it seems like. Her blue bell died, that's so sad. Rebellion. Did I go in this what one? Do oh. we have here? Ah, oh, there is a Debbie guys right there. Hmm. There we go. now demi guys I jumped and I didn't look where I was going. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? There was a big scary cl cliff. Rebellion. Door okay. <laughs> doesn't open. No, don't do that. Why does it do that every time? I didn't even, I was just trying to run past it and I did not want that. Come on, up. Didn't I jump up this before? Maybe I didn't. Hmm. 
Ravenia. The struggle is real right now, okay. Oh, it's a graveyard. Every time. Uh. That is the weirdest thing I ever noticed. What is this hooked up to? Is this hooked up to the door? I have no idea. Revenia. That matter, I don't know. Maybe. No. Oops. I just want the chest. Where? How do I get it? How did we get in there? Glitched it. Oh, there it goes. Where does this go? I don't know. Pavelio. a ladder? How did I not see the ladder? I'm, I'm an idiot. That's all. No! Go in there. Jeez. Get me. Yay, we got it. Okay, just drop. Thank you. Alright.
Wait, can I go into this place? Okay, come on. Ugh. Oh, my sincerest gratitude, you brave soul. Aloha, Mora. Else? No, no demi geysers. I just need one more, I think. No, I think I got all the stuff here. Crazy. All right. Well. I literally just need one more. What is this? Even here, we can travel here, I guess. See what's over there. I just did one more diddy, guys, and then I can unlock second locks. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I most Revelio. Ginger root. This is the barkeep and Keen Bridge keep the stock of ginger root handy to fend off its customers' nausea and keep them inhibiting a bit longer. Interesting. You're gonna get sick and awful, but drink this, eat this, and you'll be fine. Alright, let's go now. Cool. Rebellion. Beehives, the wizarding world needs honey for tea as much as the muggle world does. Who would have thought? Oops. <laughs> oh man, I know I'm a mess. Okay, what? Da da da, da da da. Getting all the goods. Mm, nothing really needed. <gasps> the Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House due to the odd angle at which it sits wrapped the roots of the overlapping tree. in there. Guys. I think we have nine now. Cool. Revelio. Anything else? Anything upstairs?
how do you do that on a computer, a keyboard? Nada, nothing. Nope. I was hoping for another demon, guys, but. Also, crazy cat lady. Oh, there's a house right there. No one to the house. Revelia. Beatrice, a week has passed and Arnold has yet to return. I must find him. Should you return before I do, but stay. Both of you wait here for me. Do not attempt to find me. How I hope nothing has happened to our boy that our fears concerning beats affected by dark magic are unwarranted as he claims. Darmon. Interesting. Father, I hope you find this letter and you won't be cross with me when you do. I must go through with this hunt. You and matter require food. I will return a day or two, safe as always, with plenty of meat. And that you will see that these beasts are not possessed by dark magic as you claim. Rest easy. I should return Arnold. Revenia. Mm, that doesn't sound good. That sounds very concerning, actually. Dark bees. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh. All right, we can head back to the town area. Oh, this is gonna get annoying. All right. We're going. Keep going. Oh. No, see, this is why I didn't want to do that. Okay. Come on, into it. Go, 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 go. Go in. It's so tricky after all, man. Go to the quest. Go to the map. Now we can go to Hogwarts.
there. Now we go tell him, hey, we got your moons. You promise to give me the second tier, which will open up a whole bunch of other stuff for me. At least that hogs me. Clever. How offensive. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demigod statues? Yes. I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. So dramatic. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alohomora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. Keep looking for those moons, hmm? You'll save my sanity and we may get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. Uh-huh. Sure, dude. What do we say? You should consider carrying a protection charm. I foresee danger in your path. Well, that's all grim. <laughs> it's like, okay. Here I was just trying to vibe, have a good time, and all of a sudden you're saying, oh, your future's looking grim. That's not something one people want to hear. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Did I not go this way this last time? No, I did. I did. Alright. Now we need 13. That's not hard, right? Rebellion. No, I keep hearing this bloody flag, but I have no idea where it actually is. There it is. Do not look so pitch kettled. No quest without challenge. Portrait of Sir Calglog. He's the worst. <laughs> Sir Calglog was allegedly friends with Merlin himself, as such to become a sworn knight of the Round Table. Although he only really known to the Wizarding world, he is famous for his defeat for Wyvern the Y, and now spends his days challenging students to duels. I think this just goes to Ravenclaw, right? Oh, not this room. But Ravenclaw. Where's Gryffindor at? I know I have not been near the fat lady. Oh, this is a Ravenclaw's tower. So the other tower must be Gryffindor, right? I know they're not that far from one another. Because I'll pass us by the kitchens. Sweaters so in the dungeons. We're gonna call them Gryffindor and Towers. It says I've been around here. Only faintly. Uh huh. I don't actually know where um 
don't actually know what Gryffindor is. Hmm. Interesting. Oh gosh, what are they doing? How nice to see you. Let's go to Flurry. Look at these sticks like this. Oh, don't be silly. It's all I think, oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Gryffindor is. It's kind of crazy. Alright, hi Mr. Moon. But I don't want to talk to you right now. But I do want to open some more doors in the faculty tower, since I know I can. I opened that one. Aha! A little more. Mudla, Mudla, Mudla. I believe I received your letter this morning, and I believe to hear that all is going well for you in NASA at Hogwarts. Even if NASA has been a little challenging of late, I suppose it is always to be expected since both of our daughters are how should I put it strong-willed. We missed you at Uga, Ugad. That's not the same without you, but we understand why you felt the need to move on. I do not think I wasn't ever made here myself under the circumstances. How life does send us down such an unpredictable path? One never truly knows what awaits, not even though such as yourself would have the sight. But I am confident that good things are ahead for you in Nassau at Hogwarts or wherever you may go. I do hope to hear from you again, and I wish you the best of luck in the meantime. Your loyal friend, um, Amelia? Amelia? Revelia. Adventure novel set. Sketch inside the cover of this old slightly worn set. A sterilized adventure novel that looks like a gazelle. Perhaps a novel for a gift to Professor One or her daughter Nassau. Oh, maybe above. Oh, I still can't go in there. Bummer. Rebellion.
Okay, Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, Hospital being attending healer, Nurse Nori Bailey, patient named Tamilia Milagan, or we assume, age 13. Notes. The patient stumbled in without a head. After the head count of dorms and absolutely no assistance from the headmaster, we concluded the student was most likely Tamilia Milagan. Despite the obvious communication challenge, I was able to observe that the poor girl was suffering from vanishing sickness. I recommend that she was sent as St. Mongols at once, partly only to the time sensitive nature of the diagnosis and partly because nearly headless Nick was floating around moaning on and on how very lucky she was. He was the most distracting and if he disrupts my dealings with the future headless students, I will shout and have no choice but to ask the headmaster to interfere. Adenium. I am told that the patient is recovering and can be expected to return to the castle soon. Of no particular significance, Nick now seems to be avoiding me. One might assess that he's steeping himself in somewhat childish sulk. Oh gosh, how look, Nick. How, how lucky of you to lost your head. That's so funny. This key. I don't know. No idea. Oh. Rebellion. Well, look at that. Hello, Hamora. Wow, I was having difficulties with that. Alright, well, now that we have this one, now we can go over here. Wow, there's only one more left. But the question is, where is it? <laughs> that is the question. Oh, I'm gonna turn this off. It's starting to aggravate me. Jump or not. She is. There's the fat lady. The fat lady portrait. The portrait guards the Gryffindor common room, requiring passport from any who wish to enter. She and her fine violet are known to wander among other portraits, periodically helping themselves the vats of the wine. They're in. See, I know. I was like wondering where she was. I was like, I know. She's somewhere, I just don't know where. Alright. So they're by the faculty tower. Hmm. 
Pavelio. Mm. Oh, I this door was locked. A little more. That is. What do we have here? A dinner. Now, Demi guys, Revelio. There, have fun. All right, out we go. Is this it? Oh, my God, there's the cabinet. Where am I? I have not ever been out here. Well, now we can do the rest. Rebellion. Which is cool and all, but I haven't been even. Confringo! I, I guess I have not been anywhere. I you can't oh. imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Uh huh. What else is over here? Cause honestly, like, I have not been over here. Oh. This is weird. I didn't come anywhere near here, I guess. I mean, I knew I was missing a part of Hogwarts, but I didn't know where I was missing it. Hear anything or see anything? Yeah, that's crazy. Where the? Like, I know I went across that bridge area. Revelio. This is weird, huh? Yes, I'm aware. Cool, I haven't been around in its location, so I kind of like want to explore.
The yawning gargoyle. Although the smoke breathing gargoyle might appear to be enchanted, it's actually the Hopper Plus common room chimney. Oh, that's cool. Oh, so that means this must be. Rebellion. And so they're like right under here. Oh, cool. I think that's like what the Great Hall. Oh. Yeah, it is. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. There's no food. There's no food here because, uh. Dinner's been served. Okay, nine plus seven. So a spider. S spider. Eleven. Three. So the little serpent thing. Where's the other one? in here. Man, the struggle is real! Give me guys. There was something locked up here. And there was a little more. Uh that's concerning that Pete said he could burn the whole castle down. I'm pretty sure they have charms for that, but Hello, 
Avelia. Mm. I gotta go sell stuff. <sighs> okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> I'm tired. Adios, hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!